Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess Sabrina Acabo with Crown of Glory Healing and Deliverance Ministries. And I wanted to give you a prophetic word that the Lord has spoken to my spirit on today. And as with any prophetic word, you will absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirits to affirm and confirm that this prophetic word is for you. And the title of this prophetic word is going to be Live a Life Worthy of Your Calling. And I'm going to say that again, live a life worthy of your calling. And as I am going through the prophetic word, I will always as well provide you scriptures that are in relation to this prophetic word that I will be providing to you on today. And I'm going to start out with Ephesians 4 verse 1. Therefore, I, a prisoner for serving the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of your calling for you have been called by God. So the Lord wants you to know your worth and your value pertaining to the call on your life and to live a life specifying the characteristics of that calling. And worthy is having or showing the qualities or abilities that merit recognition in a specified way. So the Lord wants you to walk worthy of your calling and to know who and whose you are. Are. Hallelujah. The Lord wants you to know you are a very integral and a very, um, you're very important to him. And he wants you to live a life that doesn't consist of compromises. He wants your primary focus to be this, be centered uh, around him. Know that you are special, you are peculiar, you are different. And that's what has been placed that what has been placed on your life was predestined even before the foundations of the world. So the Lord ordained you. Definitely, if you are not utilizing your keys, which is the word of God, because this is a part of the calling on your life. You give access for a tax. So I can absolutely attest to a circumstance that actually happened this morning. So the enemy was trying to stop my progression of my possessing my blessing because I actually got a job offer um, on today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And upon trying to complete my paperwork, uh, my phone started doing all kinds of flips and tricks and trades, you name it. Um, so it was, um, ironic that I had an actual backup plan, um, to go ahead on and go on my computer and accept the offer and go ahead on and get my, um, offer letter accepted as well as the background check. So the most critical thing though is to know your calling over your life and to exercise your keys. Even if you don't have a calling on your life, still exercise your keys. They are your defense and your offensive mechanisms um, to prevent attacks um, in your life. Because as soon as I began quoting scriptures, lo and behold, I turn on my worship music, things begin coming into alignment and decent and in order the way God intended for it to go. So I cannot stress enough. This is uh, why I'm always mentioning how important it is to uh, make sure you're meditating on your word day and night. Make sure you're worshiping and praising and make sure you're praying fervently. Make sure you're praying um, without ceasing and making sure you're praying sacrificially. Uh, it's very important um, to exercise those keys, I am a living witness that it works. I'm a living witness that it works. So make sure that you are honoring God in all that you do and in every area of your life and know that your calling is a responsibility that should be taken seriously because you are a you are living a life of influence and you're living a, a impactful life and In the lives of others as well. So you are actually an influence on others' lives as well. Colossians 1 and 10. So that you may live a life worthy 
of the Lord and please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God. So just making sure you are living your life, reflecting his name, reflecting his character, reflecting his image, because we are his representatives in the earth. So we've got to make our father proud, letting that record reflect. Amen. Ephesians 2 and 6, be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make a Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. One God and Father of all who is over all and in all. And through all. I felt that thing right there. I'm feeling this word. So make sure you live a life that is worthy of your calling in the mighty name of Jesus. Definitely reflect his image. Definitely reflect his character and be a vessel to be used by him. And make sure you are absolutely meditating on your keys because when things arise, such as what arise this morning, because I'm telling you, the enemy was trying to do everything in his power to stop my progression and to stop me from moving forward. But when I exercise those keys, the whole atmosphere and circumstance and everything changed into this in order and in alignment with the will and with the word of God. So I'm telling you from experience to utilize those keys, stay prayed up and stay in prayer and worship Live a life worthy of your calling in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that this word has encouraged as well as edified your life today. It has well for me. And that is why I shared my experience because I want you to definitely relate because I know you guys experience um, some of those kinds of examples in your life. So I wanted to just share a little knowledgeable information to let you know what you can do um, and going through those things to um, that how important it is to exercise um, those elements that I just mentioned previously through praise and worship, through prayer, and through meditating on your word. It gave me pleasure um, to bring forth this word today with power. I prayed over this word. And I know it's going to be edifying, exalting, and encouraging. Also, enlightening and exciting in your life. It's going to bring you that peace. It's going to bring you that joy. Um, it's going to bring you that release. It's going to bring that increase that you're looking for in your life. And you know, as I always say, definitely test the spirits. Definitely test the spirits. So, welcome, 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 you guys. You guys are astonishing me, surprising me. I am just, I love you guys. You guys are showing this sister some love and she appreciates it so much. And I give all the glory, praise and honor to God. And I thank God for each and every one of you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. Once again, I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. If you have not subscribed to this channel, come on over to this channel. Hit that subscribe button where you can get an encouraging as well as an edifying and exciting as well as an enlightening word, an enriching word on a daily basis. And you can turn your test into a testimony right here on this channel. Don't forget to hit that noti bell where you can be notified each time I upload a video. Until the next video, you guys, I will talk with you guys later. God bless each and every one of you guys. Once again, I love each and every one of you. And make sure you are living a life worthy of your calling. Exercise your keys, which is the word of God by meditating on it day and night. Praise and worship and pray fervently without ceasing and pray sacrificially. Once again, I love you guys. Until the next video, I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Many blessings to you.
Bye-bye. God bless you. Bye-bye.